Hello and Namaste to all of you. Uh, this is Jeevan Shalosin from Jyoti Vidya Peet Women's University. So today I'll be talking with you all about uh, albumin creatinine ratio in urine. So albumin is the major protein normally tested in blood, but virtually no albumin is present here in urine. And when kidneys are functioning properly, however, albumin may be detected in the urine even in early stage of kidney diseases. So the urine albumin test, formerly called as microalbumin, detects and measures the amount of albumin in urine to screen for kidney diseases. And most of the time, tests for albumin and creatinine are done on a urine sample collected randomly and an albumin to creatinine ratio that is ACR is calculated and it is done to provide a more accurate indication of how much albumin is being released into urine and creatinine is a byproduct of muscle metabolism so in a normally released uh, and which it is normally released into urine at a constant rate and its level in urine is the indication of urine concentration and this property of the creatinine allows to measurement to be used to correct for you uh, urine concentration when measuring albumin in a random urine sample so the presence of a small amount of albumin in urine may be an early indicator of kidney diseases and a small amount of albumin in urine is sometimes referred to as urine microalbumin or microalbuminuria so microalbuminuria is slow being replaced with the term albuminuria which refers to an elevation of albumin in urine so the plasma the liquid portion of blood contains many different proteins including albumin one of the many functions of kidneys is to conserve plasma proteins so that they are not released along with the waste products when the urine is produced so there are two mechanisms that uh, normally prevent proteins from passing into urine number one will be your specialized structures in kidney called glomeruli composed of loops of specialized capillaries that are filtered the blood and allowing small substances to pass uh, through uh, towards the urine but provide a barrier that keeps most large uh, plasma proteins uh, inside the blood vessels and small proteins Secondly, the small proteins that do uh, get through are small, uh, almost entirely reabsorbed by tubes or tubules that have a number of sections that collect the fluid and molecules that pass through the glomeruli. So proteins in the urine, that is proteinuria, uh, most often occurs when either the glomeruli or tubules in the kidney are damaged. So the inflammation or a scarring of glomeruli can allow increasing amounts of protein to leak into urine and damage to the tubules can prevent protein from being reabsorbed. So if a person's kidney become damaged or diseased, they begin to lose their ability to conserve albumin and other proteins. And this is frequently seen in chronic diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, which increasing amounts of protein in the urine reflecting increasing kidney dysfunction and albumin is the first protein to be detected in urine with kidney damage so people who have consistently detectable amount of albumin in their urine or albuminuria have a risk increased risk of developing progressive kidney failure and cardiovascular diseases now uh, in future and uh, uh, how's this test done? So the urine albumin test and, uh, and the albumin to creatinine ratio are used to screen for kidney disease in people with chronic conditions such as diabetes and high blood pressure, high, that is hypertension. And it can detect small amount of albumin that escapes the blood through the kidneys into urine several years before significant uh, kidney damage becomes apparent. And studies have shown that uh, identifying individuals in very early stage of kidney disease helps people and healthcare providers adjust treatment. So controlling diabetes and hypertension by maintaining tight glycemic control and reducing blood pressure delay or prevent progression of kidney diseases. So if albumin is detected in a urine sample collected at random over four hours or overnight, the test may be repeated or confirmed with urine that is collected for over a 24 hour period. So for urine samples collected randomly, that is not timed, 
But albumin and creatinine usually are measured and then albumin to creatinine ratio is calculated. So uh, this is done uh, to provide a more accurate indication of how much albumin is being released into urine. So the American Diabetes Association has stated a reference for ACR for screening for albuminuria indicating early kidney diseases. And since the amount of albumin in urine can vary considerably, an elevated ACR should be prepared twice within three to six months to confirm for the diagnosis. So when is this test ordered? So according to the ADA, that is American Diabetes Association and National Kidney Foundation, everyone with type one diabetes should get tested and starting up five years after onset of disease and annually the and all those with type 2 diabetes should get tested starting from the time of diagnosis and then annually so if albumin in urine or albuminuria is detected it should be confirmed by retexting twice within three to six months of period and people with hypertension may be tested at regular intervals with the frequency determined by the health care provider. So what does the test result mean? So if albumin is undetectable in urine, it is an indication that kidney function is normal and moderately increased albumin levels found in both initial and repeat urine test indicate that a person is likely to have early kidney diseases and very high levels are indication that kidney disease is present in a more severe form. So the presence of blood in urine or urinary tract infection, uh, vigorous exercise, and more acute illness may cause positive test result and that has not uh, related to kidney diseases. So testing should be repeated after these conditions have been resolved. Is there anything uh, that uh, anyone can do to prevent albuminuria or microalbuminuria? So yes, if you have diabetes, follow your healthcare professional uh, practitioner's instructions for maintaining the control over your blood glucose levels and keeping your high blood pressure under control and is also effective in preventing kidney damage. So that leads to albumin in urine, that is albuminuria. And some studies should have shown that those who have albuminuria, they can prevent it from worsening and may reverse it with good glycemic control and blood pressure control or by quitting smoking. So are there any reasons for having increased urine blood albumin levels? Yes, albumin in urine is not specific for diabetes. So it may not be associated with hypertension uh, and some lipid abnormalities. So, and uh, several immune disorders. So uh, if, uh, elevated results may also be caused by vigorous exercise and blood in urine and some urinary tract infections and dehydration and some drugs. Now, uh, so, uh, uh, so the reasons uh, where, why uh, for having increased albumin levels, so uh, other reasons can be your hypertension, so our lipid abnormalities and immune disorders. So elevated results also may have be uh, caused due to vigorous exercise and blood in urine and urinary tract infections and some drugs. So what is the difference between serum plasma albumin and free albumin and urine albumin test? So although the names of, uh, are similar, albumin, free albumin, and are completely different molecules, so they are both proteins made by liver. So however, both have been used just historically to evaluate nutritious tasters and serum or plasma uh, or blood albumin is now more often used to screen for help diagnose liver or kidney disease and the urine albumin de uh, test detects the measure the albumin in the urine as an early indicator of kidney diseases so is there anything else some to know uh, actually the studies have shown that elevated levels of urinary albumin in people with diabetes or hypertension are associated with increased risk of developing cardiovascular diseases and more recently research has been focused on trying to determine if increased level of albumin and urine are also indicative of cardiovascular diseases uh, or a risk uh, in which those who have diabetes or high blood pressure and there is currently some evidence that albuminuria is associated with increased risk of death in adults so that was all about albumin creatinine ratio in urine so in further lectures um, i'll tell you more about this and 
uh, until then if you have any doubts or any grievances you can uh, contact me and uh, until then take care and goodbye